So, hello my friends. Today I'm Ahmed and today we have our sixth day, sixth report. Enjoy it with us. Today was a very uh, full day full of events, full of uh, action. Our members went to the families of Alexandrov. They lived a real Polish day. Everyone took a different family. There are a lot of different stories we got to know today from our report. And today we've got also Amanda uh, who will tell us about her day and she will tell us a bit of stories from this day. Also, uh, you come with me through the school, we will interview people and know their stories from today. Today was probably one of my favorite days so far because I got to be um, placed with a family that spoke zero English and I got to spend the day communicating without words and that's not something that we get to do very often. You know, we're used to being surrounded by people who speak our language and there's something um, really beautiful about communicating with each other in other ways than um, with our language. It's, it was so um, it was just a, a really great experience, and um, they were this family that I was with, and um, Lenny was with with was with me. Uh, they were so caring and hospitable, and they just wanted to please us, and they just wanted to to share with us their world, and I found it um, just absolutely wonderful. This the strong sense of community and family that this. Um, that this whole town has, and especially this family that I was with today, that I got to know very well. Um, even though we didn't really, uh, you know, have a long conversation or anything, it was, uh, we still got to know each other, you know, what, what makes us laugh, <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, it was just great. Um, there's a small, there's a baby, a girl, she was 11 months, 11 months old, and uh, she, was actually kind of um, a glue between us. It was good. She was, uh, even though she didn't even speak any language yet, she helped um, we older or we adults to communicate together. <laughs> um, this was a, a fantastic experience. And uh, others of the uh, got to go to different families, and we got to, they got to do um, some work that the that those people do in their daily lives. So uh, today, the seminar students got to experience what it's like to be um, a member of the town of Alexandrov. It was um, just wonderful. There's Miri. Hello, Miri. Hi, Ahmad. How are you? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> so, uh, can you tell us about uh, your day from the beginning? Yeah, um, me and Leo, we are staying with Agnieszka and she's got four sisters. Um, she showed us already her room, her house, and she they got a lot of animals here. It's like a little farm, you know? <laughs> they got pigs, they got chickens and cows and also dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's very nice here. Um, yeah, she showed us her room. It's really comfortable and all the um, walls are colored. <laughs> yeah, we spent a little time in the garden in the front and um, picked some cherries from the trees. Oh, cool. Yeah, we got a lot of cherries. And yeah, now we are just chilling around a little bit and waiting for the supper. <coughs> so our f uh, our second group are here in the um, city hall of uh, Alexandrov. Here is Magda working on the computer. Hello, Magda. So hello, Alfred. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, work in here? About my work. So I'm in city hall, and my work is to mm, make us some kind of short article for a local newspaper, because uh, in uh, next three days they will be printed in the local newspaper article article about Alexandrov and also about our seminar. So I'm taking a part of. Uh, this uh, description of our seminar. You are enjoying your time? Yes, I'm enjoying my time. Well, I can now feel like a busy woman in the office and, and so on, and I'm really happy because of uh, this, because the second option was that we could uh, dig for the potatoes on the field, <laughs> and it's too hot to dig the potatoes, so I'm very happy to be in this office. <laughs> so, another group here. We find Anjay and T w working on the field. So, uh, Anjay, T. Whoa. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, Kanti. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can you tell us uh, a little bit about your day? Um, today is very fantastic and interesting. We um, first we take uh, in the cucumber, and then we uh, have to take some fruit over there, and then we uh, have a nice talk with the families, police family. Yeah, try to learn some police work. Yeah, very interesting. And uh, uh, how do you feel about the day and the family and, you know? <laughs> yeah, the family was great because they you know, uh, teach a lot of things about getting the cu 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 finding the cucumbers and uh, Thomas will be jealous, I guess, because of it. We have some pictures with all of those cucumbers, yeah. And also we have Thomas here with us. Hello, Thomas. Ah, hello, Ahmad. Hello, Solanet. Yeah, can you tell us a little bit about your day here? Yeah, we had a very nice day here. First, uh, uh, Ola, uh, she's our host, showed us uh, their farm and their house and all the uh, rooms. And it was very interesting. And they have a, a great piece of land here with their own fruits, strawberries, cherries and all that stuff. Yeah, and we were collecting cherries, a lot of cherries. And we also met with, uh, with the daughter. Of her. Okay, so now we have Kari. Kari is collecting cherries. <laughs> Hello, Kari. Hi. How and are you? <laughs> so, can you tell us about your day here? Yeah, we were all the morning. We were collecting cherries, and uh, I found this one. It's uh, Vishnya, a new friend of Ogurek, and uh, it was a very nice day. And then we had a perfect lunch. Okay, another group from another family. We have got Diana. And and Aga, hello. Hola. <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about your day today? Well, it has been amazing. We arrived and, well, first of all, the, the family was very, uh, very warm with us. And they, they took us for to what it is, uh, like one of the ordinary de day of their lives, which was very, um, we were very interested, very rich, because it's very different from what I'm used to. It's not the, the normal city lifestyle. It's like very in contact with nature and very calm and very chill. And what we did is um, like being in contact with the nature because they have this uh, straw, um, raspberry fields and we were helping them to um, take out the bad the bad weed yeah the bad weed and which we got pretty dirty uh, that was cool and and yeah well they were introduces, introducing us to the daily life can you tell us well, in general about the family how do you find it at home Yes, we, mm, the whole day we spent with a boy named Radek so he um, showed us everything like um, uh, he showed us uh, their house and he went with us to the fields and to the forest so and later the mm, mother prepared us a very um, very tasty dinner so it's they treat us like um, Part of the yes yeah. it is real nice so here is the house where Lenny and Amanda spend their day and uh, we are just unlucky that they left. Uh, to, they just left uh, from here, and we just have the, their family. So we will just inter interview them. Chcieliśmy rozmawiać bardzo mile, ale nie wiedzieli mowy polski. My nie znamy angielski ani niemiecki, ale trochę na migi, trochę tak i jakoś żeśmy się tu mile spotykali, mile se będziemy wspominać te chwile. Hello Scott. Hello. And uh, can you tell us something about your day? Um, today uh, we went to a family and they were very nice and they always welcome us and uh, also we worked too hard. In, the f in their field, we cut the grass and uh, we went to uh, the forest and uh, see many beautiful sights in this forest. And after that, we also have lunch together and uh, bring and bring a lot of vodka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, also um, I meet a very nice children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, they uh, he asked me uh, why do why am I too shocked. <laughs> yes. It was very interesting because we were in a family where four generations were living in one house, uh, but unfortunately none of them could speak English or German, so we were a bit stuck with gestures and uh, the poor little Polish we had. 
So do you, do you have um, any special story or something incident that you want to tell us about? Uh, yeah, there was a very nice grandmother in that family and um, she like took care of us um, and she was talking to us for maybe one or two hours and unfortunately Polish, which we didn't understand. We were quite happy if we got the topic. So at least we knew a bit about what she's actually talking. Um, but she made two wonderful pillows for us. Oh, where is Leo? Aha, so today we find Leo. Leo, hello Leo. Let's go out of here. Yeah, totally. Okay. Now light. Let's go with the light. Here is Leo. And hi Leo. Hello. Oh, folks, what's up? Okay, can you tell us something about your family day? Oh, today was awesome. This, the people here are just like my real family. I feel totally home and I don't know what to say. I love here. I want to come here more often. It's like my house. Yeah. So do you have some uh, special story or something from today you want to tell us about? No. Mm, uh, no special because I, I feel so home that it's it's everything for me here is so usual it's, it's just like home so that's it for today and tomorrow we are going to uh, visit Lublin and uh, stay with us tomorrow more reports and goodbye <laughs>